Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss an introduction to differential equations. Uh, differential equations uh, take on a lot of different forms. Uh, in this video we're only going to do one type of differential equation, uh, a type called the separable uh, differential equations. This is probably the most basic type of a differential equation to deal with, so it makes for a good introduction. Um, if you move forward in math and take the course differential equations, you'll find that there's many types of differential equations. Um, so, uh, but anyway, this is just an introduction. <clears throat> the, um, the first thing with uh, differential equation is to know what it is. So I'm just going to write down uh, dy over dx uh, equals x squared. Um, this is a differential equation because uh, it has differentials in it and it has an equal sign. That is all it takes to have a differential equation. The goal of solving a differential equation is to come up with the original form of y equals blank. Uh, you're answering the question, what function, uh, when you take its derivative, has that as its derivative? <clears throat> um, so what you're going to do is you're going to isolate the y's on the left, the x's on the right. This is the separation part of separable differential equations. Uh, I would just multiply by dx on both sides. Cancel, cancel. dy is x squared dx. We have separated the x's and y's now. And now, uh, in the spirit of an equation where you can do anything you want to both sides as long as it's the same, we're going to integrate both sides. Uh, the integral of dy is just y, and the integral of x squared is x cubed over 3 plus c. So this is called the general solution of our differential equation. Um, it's called general because we don't know what c is. Uh, general is uh, means that this is the family of solutions. Um, if you you know if, if you you know that x cubed over three has a certain shape, but the plus c would tell you where you are in the graph. So you know maybe uh, you know one third uh, x cubed looks kind of like that. You know here's another one third x cubed higher, one higher, one lower, one lower, one higher, and so forth. This is the family of solutions. Now, your family, your, your particular solution, uh, might, maybe it's this one, and you're given a point that says when x is 1, uh, y is uh, 9. You know, I, I don't know, just picking out something there. Um, and so what you would do, and if you want to get a particular solution, you must be given an initial condition. And that initial condition here is that the point one comma nine was on my curve. So all you do is you plug in nine for y, one for x, and solve for c. It looks like c is eight and two thirds. So the particular solution here would be y equals x cubed over 3 plus 8 and 2 thirds. Simple enough. Um, we're just um, separating the x's and y's, integrating both sides. Uh, if you don't have an initial condition, you stop right here with the general solution. Um, that just tells you what the curve looks like, but not where it is on the graph. And then if you have an initial condition, you can find its particular solution, plug in the x, plug in the y, solve for c, put it all together. That would now identify that, oh, it's this curve or, you know, whatever. Um, so let's try, uh, let's try another one. Try this. <clears throat> um, first step of the separable differential equation is to separate the x's and y's. 
So we're going to multiply by dx here, multiply by dx here, and get dy. Is secant x tan x minus e to the x dx. Multiply both sides by dx. I'm going to integrate both sides. And we get y equals the derivative of secant tan. I'm sorry, the, the antiderivative of secant tan uh, is secant. The antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x, and then plus c. Because there is no initial condition, this is the general solution. And that's all you can do. Uh, you know, one thing that you're doing here is you're looking for known derivatives. I, I spied this is a known derivative. That is a known derivative. So if I have a known derivative, I know what their antiderivative is really easily. So that is kind of the ideal situation for a differential equation. Um, let's look at, uh, at a few more. I'm going to just start a new sheet. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, a differential equation. We've got uh, an initial condition that's given. The solution has the point x is 0, y is 3 on it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate the variables. y's go on the left, x's go on the right. I'm going to divide by y on both sides and multiply by dx on both sides. So we're going to have dy over y equals uh, 2x dx. I divided both sides by y, canceled that out, got my y down here. Uh, multiplied by dx, cancel that out, got dx right here. Now we're going to uh, integrate. Um, <clears throat> this is a known derivative. This is derivative over original. That is a, a natural log of y. The integral of that is natural log of y. Um, this uh, 2x is a known derivative. You can make this 2x squared over 2 plus c, um, and, uh, or just x squared plus c. Uh, so now we need to solve for y. And you can always, you can choose to solve for c now, or at the end, it doesn't matter. If you choose to solve for it now, you've got to carry through that value for the whole rest of the problem. So I just, myself, I choose to solve at the end. Um, to get rid of natural log of y, we're going to exponentiate both sides. So you get e to the natural log of y makes me a y. And this is e to the x squared uh, plus c, which is the same as e to the x squared times e to the c um, using your exponent rules. Uh, and now one thing that I, I know, c is unknown and e to the c is unknown. So I'm just going to call that c e to the x squared. That's just a convenient thing, and that's something that you benefit from by saving that that um, constant solve until the very end. Uh, y is 0, I'm sorry, y is 3, x is 0, so you get 3 equals c, and then you can go plug that back in right up here, and you get your uh, particular solution, which is this. It's a particular solution, there we go, because um, we did, we were able to solve for C. Uh, let's try, let's try one more. Then we'll do a second derivative. We'll do one more similar to this. Um, so again, we're going to, the first step in a separable differential equation is to separate uh, the y's and the x's. We'll move the y's to the left by dividing y plus 5 on both sides. 
and then we'll multiply both sides by dx. And uh, then I'm going to integrate both sides. Just like the last problem, the integral of dy over y plus 5, this is derivative over original. So you've got natural log y plus 5 equals x squared over 2 plus 2x plus c. Taking the integral of that um, backwards power rule. Um, now we're going to uh, exponentiate both sides to get rid of the natural log. Uh, so y plus 5 uh, is left. Here we're going to have e to the x squared over 2 plus 2x times e to the c. I strategically left the x terms together as an exponent of e and then separately did times e to the c. Just like before, I don't know what c is here. Um, and uh, I don't know what e to the c is, so I'm just going to call that a nice big c. Since I don't know what e to the c is or c, I just call it c. And we'll solve for that at the end. So we've got, currently that is, this is my, uh, I guess I could take away 5, but this is my general solution or, or nearly my general solution. Uh, I'm going to put in x is 0 and y is 1. Uh, so 1 plus 5 equals c times 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, so that's 1 plus 5 is 6, c times 1. So c actually equals 6. And so now you can kind of fill in the blanks. You can say y plus 5 equals 6 times e to the x squared over 2 plus 2x. And then finally take away 5 and you get your, your final answer, 6 e to the x squared over 2 plus 2x minus 5. This is your particular solution.